Hi everybody, I'm Chuck with IWS Sales and I'm real excited to be here. I don't know if I'm more excited to tell you about this motorhome or just the fact that they let me do another video. It's been since November, so about seven months since I've been able to stand in front of you and talk about a motorhome. Of course, our country's going through a, a different phase with the COVID-19 and, and we're kind of emerging from that and just it just feels like there's some excitement in the air. And just to really add on that, I get a chance to show you this brand new 2021 uh, Peterbilt 567. If you were ever wanting trucker cred, uh, this is the way to get it by owning a Peterbilt. This particular coach has a Cummins ISX 15 and it's 565 horsepower, which is just an exceptional amount of power in a, in a small compact single axle coach. Just to kind of put that into perspective for you, this is a true class eight semi chassis. So this thing's designed to go up and down the road hauling or weighing uh, 80,000 pounds with its load and it's designed to last over a million miles. So you have a formidable chassis here. One of the things that we found that was uh, a, a real nice bonus with the Peterbilt chassis is that they're taller and as I do this walk around, you'll notice it's quite a bit taller off the ground than a Freightliner chassis. And, and we found that very appealing, especially for those of you that are gonna be boondocking. And then Renegade stepped it up. As you can see, I don't have a tape measure with me, but um, you, you gotta be at very close to two foot off the ground, a clearance, which is just something pretty neat. It's hotter than heck out here. And I wanna make sure that I survive the weather to make it to the inside. So we're gonna go pretty quick through the compartment. So I'm gonna go ahead and zap Zach, just come back around to the back. One of the things that I talk about a lot on videos is just the serviceability of a Renegade. We really like that they use just standard over the counter truck lights. You can go to any Napa Auto Parts store and get these lights. A lot of people are gonna ask, why do we have two exhaust pipes here at the back and one is for the generator and one is for the uh, aqua hot heating system because it uses a diesel burner. These are known as glad hands on the back and this is where your trailer air supply comes. So if you were happen to tow a trailer that had air brakes, um, you would have a service and supply line here so you could activate the air brakes. And I'll show you that when we get inside, but that's this connection. Here's the trailer hitch. Um, this is really a 40,000 pound hitch, but it's D-rated to 20,000 pounds because you have a single rear axle, but you have a lot of hitch adjustment. This plug-in right here is for your trailer connection, and this is if you wanna run a camera on the inside of your trailer or on the back side of your trailer. Um, I guess I should point out here, there's a backup camera, and one of the little things we do at IWS sales is we add a third brake light to the top because we really believe in safety. And that's something that we've really started doing is adding these big scene lights around the motorhome. So you have a huge spotlight to shine down on the back. It's not only handy for um, loading your trailer, but if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you hear something outside, you can flip a switch and you can light up 360 degrees around the motorhome. And when I say light it up, it's like spotlights coming on. Okay, now I'm gonna walk you through each compartment. This is where the power cord reel is. Um, you can pull this reel out and then you just push a button and it winds back up. This compartment's gonna have the generator. Now, because this is a single rear axle, we're really weight conscious. So we equip this with an 8KW generator and it's a Cummins Onan. It's actually a Kubota tractor engine and it always cracks me up when I see used motorhomes and people say, yeah, I've hardly used a generator. And I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, what a shame. <laughs> it should be a badge of honor that you got hundreds, if not thousands or tens of thousands of hours on these generators. If you read the Cummins generator manual, they tell you it's better to run this for two hours than it is 20 minutes. So get out and use these motorhomes and, and they're made to be driven. Here you have a, um, an alley light. So uh, if you're backing up, you can turn this switch on and get some light back here so you can see where your rear wheels are at. A lot of people will ask what this is and that's the exhaust pipe and it may look low, but it's not. 
Again, I'm going pretty fast on this motorhome. Um, I really want to focus on the inside of the chassis. This is the water uh, connection points. This is where your water would come in from uh, your outside city connection. If you want to fill up water under the bed, there's 150 gallons of fresh water inside the coach. Um, lots of stuff there. This is where the um, macerator is. And again, I apologize if I'm going pretty fast, but I think most of you really just kind of want to get to the, the chassis on this thing. Another empty storage compartment. This is where you get into something that is new for us for 2021 in Renegade, and that's the lithium batteries. This motorhome has nine lithium batteries on it, and we're really going to talk about their capabilities when we get inside the motorhome. And then... Up here is where the def tank is, and that's the diesel exhaust fluid. Um, so you'll need to be filling that up as well as uh, the fuel tank. We're gonna go ahead and move around to the front here a little bit. Here you can see uh, the backup camera for the left-hand side marker light. You got really nice uh, Peterbilt, classic Peterbilt looking headlights from the front. And I wanna just have Zach take a moment and really just look at the front of this Peterbilt. You got that beautiful big Peter bump, Peterbilt bumper on the front, the Peterbilt grill, and them outstanding mirrors, powered mirrors on the, on the side. This thing just has that classic uh, trucker look and it's something that I just find very appealing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the motorhome up and turn it around and we'll talk about the other side. Well, here we are on the passenger side, so I'm gonna take a minute and walk you through some of the boxes. So on the passenger side, for the most part, it's, it's all about storage. And you'll notice all of these boxes are carpeted. There's also an LED light inside. And incidentally, I'll show you when we get inside, you can operate all of these lights and the slides from outside on your cell phone. Uh, there's now an app to operate all of that. We also have uh, electric door locks, so you can lock and unlock all the storage compartments. In this compartment, we have the Aqua Hot, and when we get inside, I think I'll take a little bit of time to talk to you a little bit more about how this thing works. It seems pretty foreign to a lot of people, but in a sense, it's a diesel burner, and it circulates this glycol throughout the motorhome, and you can use that to, um, through heat registers to, to heat the inside of the coach. As we keep moving back, here's another large storage compartment in here. Here's another large storage compartment. Another, I feel like I just keep repeating myself, but there's just tons and tons of storage on this motorhome. This one houses the inverter, but there's still lots of storage in here. And then while I'm up here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment to tilt the hood. Um, and then another thing I wanna point out is look at the large steps you have here on the passenger side. So it's very easy to get in and out. And one of the things that I really like about a Class C is when you pull up at a truck stop or something, you don't have to traipse through the motorhome. You can just climb right out the doors just like you would a regular pickup. We've already unlocked the other side, so I'm gonna go ahead and tilt this hood. And one of the things that's really nice about operating these class eight style trucks is serviceability. Um, here you can see this monster uh, 15 liter Cummins engine, but they're very serviceable and I've talked about this in some other videos. When you have a Class A motorhome, if you have an engine problem, you usually have to let the mechanic in and out of the inside of your coach because that's how they access the engine. On a Class C, um, everything's right out here in the open, so it's very serviceable. 
Most of the Peterbilt dealers are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Towing of one of these, um, as I most of you know, we, I've spent my career in the towing industry and most of our good customers won't even tow Class A motorhomes because they're so difficult to tow. But to tow one of these is just like uh, hooking onto it, uh, just like a regular truck, so it's very easy. As you can see, there's lots of room to get in here, clean the windshield, uh, lots of serviceability uh, access points. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, release the hood latch over here. They have a safety latch mechanism. Maybe before I do, Zach, do you wanna go ahead and pan around on the other side of the engine here and get some shots? It's always hard after the fact of doing one of these when we read the comments, you know, people wanna see more detail. And uh, so we're gonna keep trying to add more and more detail on the engine. You can see the fuel filter access. You can, it's very visual cues to tell you if you need to uh, add any of the uh, power steering fluid. It's easy to check the engine oil. Cummins and Peterbilt, they've been doing this a long time, so they have a really good understanding. Right here's the safety latch on the hood, so when it's time to tilt the hood, you just push that up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and close the hood. And then we're gonna go ahead and latch it up. All right, I also wanna point out this 110 outlet here on the side, which is great if you wanna plug in a Traeger grill or another electrical grill. You know, everything that we're doing is trying to make sure you're a informed purchaser, informed purchaser, especially when you're spending this kind of money. This coach here is 502,000 and some change uh, MSRP, but of course we're always willing to, to, we got a little wiggle room in us. Not much, but we can wiggle a little bit on that price. Um, Here's the entertainment center. This is a 40 inch TV. And this is something that I'm starting to become more and more fond of the more we travel. I've been out on the road for the last little bit with our motorhome, traveling around and we're starting to use the outside TV more and more. Um, especially as we begin to social distance, it's nice to stay out of the motorhome. We can have a few friends with us. They don't have to come in the motorhome. They can sit around outside and we can watch a a movie or some sports outside, has a sound bar on it, has a two-stage top, so if there's no sun, you can really lift it up. And again, I think this is gonna start becoming more and more standard on our signature series. And the reason is, is because our signature series are things that we use and we believe in. And so, um, been pretty fond of that. Before I go in, I wanna show you the uh, touchpad entry right here so we can program this to your own private code. Has an illuminated grab handle. And then another thing about this is it is all the exterior work lights, and I'd mentioned that when we were on the back, but some of the things people don't realize, when you buy a motor home with a microwave, most of them don't vent to the outside. And Zach, if you can kind of pan up here, you'll see that vent right there. And we ask Renegade to have that installed so your microwave will vent to the outside so you can get the smells out of the coach. And we just try to, we just try to keep adding all of these things that'll do it. Somebody may ask what that vent is and that's for the dryer. That's a dryer vent up there. And Renegade's also done a lot to really improve the doors. And we really like this new door with this single big grab handle so when you go to open it from the inside the door can't get pulled out of your hands in the wind. Well now it's time to go ahead and uh, go inside and we'll talk a little bit about the inside and I'm going to start out with the slides in. Okay here we are inside the coach and before I start this tour I want to kind of let you know a couple things. So the first thing is a lot of people ask about sound. So what we've done is we went ahead and started the generator and we're operating the rear air conditioner the whole time that we're doing this video to kind of uh, not only to keep me cool, but to really set the precedence of what the sound levels are like inside this motorhome. This motorhome is, an ex is, an ex is exceptional in the insulation and soundproofing and that's because we have Renegade install our IWS Extreme Weather Package. 
And what that does is it takes the R value from most motorhomes running up and down the road or probably anywhere from an R5 to an R9 rating. And in order to get the R26, Renegade sprays a ceramic temp coat on the walls, on the inside of the walls before they, they do the final install. And it also has a, a blue board styrofoam in it. And you can go on to YouTube and search ceramic temp coat and really see what this space age, uh, I believe it's a nanotechnology does for the insulation. It's something I do to my personal coach. I have it on the one, mine right now. Uh, my coach incidentally will be available this November after the SEMA show. Thought I'd do a shameless plug there. But seriously, everything that we do um, we tested and, and in order to be called a signature series, it has to be something we really believe in. And this is, this is just a little bit scaled down version of my personal coach. It's 42 feet and this one's 38 feet. So, uh, you know, everything that I'm telling you comes from the heart. One of the neat things though that Renegade has done this year is they've come up with the new touchscreen features. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and peel this protective cover off so you can have a better view here. So, what's neat about this is here we can see the fresh water tanks at 75 degree. Um, we actually set a code so you can see the code flashing on it right here. Here's your water pump if you want to turn the water pump on or off. Um, if you want to turn all the lights off when you come in, you can just hit off or you can turn them on. Um, you can also go to just touch lights and then I can control all of the lights in the motorhome here or I can turn them all off, turn them all on. Um, it also has a dimming feature on each one of them. You can also do rear lighting on the back of the motorhome or the exterior lighting. Uh, turn them on, uh, the awnings, the porch, the curb lights. Also can do the air conditioning and you can do the slides. And I want to tell you a little bit about what I think is so interesting about the slides. So we've went ahead and uploaded our, this is a, if you were to buy this motor home, you get our IWS Advantage package and that comes with an iPad and we, we preload this iPad for you. This happens to be uh, the one out of my coach you can go right to this home screen and this is the same control here so I can turn the lights on and off. So if I'm sitting down um, in the living room, I can turn the living room lights on or off. I can turn the accent lights on and off. And I have all of this ability. But what I think is so cool is I can go to slides. Now I have to hit the confirm button What's neat about this is when I want to run a slide out or an awning, let's see, we're going to go to slides. So if I want to extend the sofa slide, I could actually go outside. If I was worried there was a tree or an obstacle, I can actually run the slide from outside. So we're going to go ahead and run the uh, sofa slide out right now. And we can do it all from the iPad. You can also download it. Uh, the app and put it onto your cell phone. But it's so neat to be able to be outside and watch the slide working. And I just think it's just absolutely exciting technology that's coming here to Renegade. We wanted to have the slides in when I started the video so that you could understand, uh, see how much room there was uh, with the slides in. And that's always been neat in our signature series is we've always strived to make the motorhome completely usable with the slides in, so you have access to the refrigerator, the stove, the sinks, and everything. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start this inside tour with talking a little bit about the entrance. And this is something that, you know, each dealer believes they do something different. And I can tell you this, we, we listen to our customers, we put our heart and soul into these things and little things make the difference. For an example, a standard Renegade only comes with one grab handle and we put two on here so that if, you're, uh, if you have any sort of uh, walking disability or anything, 
this is going to help you get in and out of the motorhome, and it's just something we feel very strongly about. Another nice thing, uh, there is a step well cover. I don't have it with me, but you can cover up the step well. So if you have children or a dog or something, you don't have to worry about them falling down into the step well. Another neat thing is we like to have coat hangers put not only here, but here. And the reason we do them here is if you come in and you have a wet coat, you can hang it on here and the water drips down into the step. These are things that we've learned from uh, being out using our RV. I'm gonna go ahead and shut these. Uh... Lights off over here because I wanna talk about them in a little bit later. Another thing that we do is we have Renegade install an upgraded um, TV tilt mount. We want a really heavy duty one on there. And the reason we like this is so in the evening when it's time to kick back, you can just bring the TV out a little bit. And on this coach, we did the dual reclining theater chairs and these are all power operated. So when you get in in the evening, it's real easy just to kick back and, and watch a little bit of TV. These, these are uh, really nice because there's a USB charging port right here built into the seat. There's also two USB charging ports here and there's a 110 outlet here so you could operate your laptop while you're sitting here. It's also got storage right here so you can put your remote controls in it. And uh, I'm really, this is our coach this year is the first time we've done the theater seating. Normally we have a sofa and I can tell you right now I'm really enjoying these things. Uh, I, I just can't say enough about it. Now obviously everything's about lifestyle. If you're gonna be packing a lot of people with you, you might want a sofa. But on this motorhome, it's the same as mine and we have the overhead bunk. So we usually travel with just one to two boys. They can both sleep up in the bunk. So we like having the theater seats. Incidentally, there's also a seat belt for each of the seats as well as two seat belts in the, uh, the dinette, which we're gonna move up here and talk a little bit about it. Also, before we get there, I want to talk about some of the overhead storage. This thing has tons of storage. All of these cabinets open up. And you could just about get lost with all the storage in here. And everything is uh, solid hardwood. When I say these are uh, Amish craftsmen, I really mean it. These are built with a lot of pride. Another neat thing is this has the day-night shade. So here's your daytime shade. And the, the night shades are powered. So here's the remote. I'll go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and close all the shades right now. You also have backup lighting controls right there. Now I'm going to move over to the sofa. Um, as you can see, there's two seat belts or in the dinette. There's also storage underneath both of them. This dinette will also uh, go down and you can turn this into a bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and set down in here and something that's new for 2021 and we're really glad that Renegade brought this back and that's the curved dinettes. And it's just so relaxing to be able to set in the corner and have this real nice curved dinette uh, it's something you really need to experience. The other thing that they did, they've done is they've moved the outlets from underneath the table to the top up here, which I think was just a really good move for 2021. Now each of you can have a laptop, you've got your USB chargers, and they've also lengthened the dinette. So it's a little bit easier now for four people to set here at the dinette. So I think they've really done a good job for 2021. Now, as I move around, you can see the single cab cut out. And a lot of people really like this because you can just run one pull down shade and then now you've isolated the back of the motor home from the front. We also have a really large bunk up here. This is 60 inch depth. And we have the fold down TV up there. Uh, we put a vent up there. So if you're laying up here in the evening, we, you can crack the window at the kitchen and then you could pull cool air up and out. We also have our um, 
It is an escape hatch, but I like to call it a viewing hatch. It's a great way to go out up on top of the roof and take a look at things. We also installed extra light controls here so you can turn the bunk lights on or off while you're in bed and we've got an outlet there. So if you have guests sleeping up here, they can have their cell phone charger. Um, it's just a, a really nice addition. And this is a great place. Two adults can sleep up here. It's over 90 inches wide by 60 inches deep. So it's, it's a really nice big bed. Okay, now I'm gonna open up the entertainment center and this has the WineGuard Traveler DirecTV satellite, and this is the one that powers up on top. So you do have to be stationary when you use it, but it does, it's the only real true way to get high definition uh, DirecTV as well as be able to digitally record it. You just can't get that through the little in motion satellite. But we also have WineGuard Direct or the WineGuard Connect Wi-Fi on this. So there's an actual dome on top of the motorhome. You can pay a subscription to either WineGuard or like I do, I have Verizon. So I just pay a unlimited subscription through them. And so what it does is it reaches out and grabs Wi-Fi signals and brings them in and boosts them. So like a couple of weeks ago, we were up in Fairfield, Idaho and we were able to stream um, Amazon and Netflix through the WineGuard uh, Direct. So it's, it's quite a interesting technology and I, and I really highly recommend it. Another neat thing, and it's something that we do on all of our coaches is instead of glass, we have a screen put here so that we can let the heat out of there. We also have an air conditioning vent up here to help with that. Now I'm gonna unlock the refrigerator and just do a quick, uh, overview so you can see you got lots of room inside the refrigerator you also have a oops i locked it nice little freezer with an ice maker down low okay now we're going to start into the cabinets and this is the exact same way i have our coach configured you'll see these large drawers see the dovetail construction solid uh, hardwood maple throughout, full length sliding drawers with soft clothes on them. Now inside of this one is where all of the technology is housed and you can see the green lights are telling you which circuits are active. If you had a flashing light it would tell you if you have a problem with the circuit and we could help you diagnose that. Here's all your circuit breakers for your 110 outlets. And this is where all of um, the, the remainder of the circuits are kept. Now, as we move back, we've got lots of storage underneath the microwave. And this is something that my wife has really uh, lobbied for with, uh, on our coaches to have a lot of room here to put the pots and pans, bread trays, things like that. We've really become a fan of the true induction cooktops on them. And the reason we like these is because you don't have to take, if, if you have a gas stove, you have to take the tops off and store them somewhere. And by going with this, now we have a really large area if we're not cooking it. It, it just makes it a lot more useful. We have a Samsung convection microwave. I say it on every video, we liked it so much we actually installed one at our home. There's storage over the top of it. Storage underneath, you've got a nice little um, place to keep your wash rags and sponges and stuff. I'll go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Move the sink covers, remove them. So we started going with the single sink rather than the double. That way, if you want to get a barbecue grill or something in here, you can, uh, you got a really big sink in it. Like what we do is we carry a little tub underneath and we bring it up and we put our soap in it and then we can rinse out the other side and it works out really good for us. We also did two outlets here so you can have coffee pot, toaster, cell phone. Um, we're really trying to focus on everything to make life easier. You also see this is a residential style sprayer that pulls out. Well, before I go too much further, I want to uh, 
actually, I think I can just do it all here on the on the cell phone. I'm going to go ahead, or the iPad. I'm going to go ahead and go to lights. I'm going to turn this accent light on. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn um, the ceiling lights on here. So what we've done on this coach is had Renegade install these accent lights. And you can download an app on your phone, and you'll be able to play these lights in you can keep it on a solid color or here we've got it rotating it just adds another uh, just another level of ambiance to it we can also also do this outside around the perimeter of the coach if you want but it's something that's kind of neat and then again if you're laying in you know your living room or in your bed and you want to turn them on or off you can just simply do it by just touching the the app so i'm going to go ahead and turn them off I'm gonna turn the lights back on up here and there you have it. So lots of functionality. Now we're gonna go ahead and move to the back of the coach and talk about what's back here. Here we are in the, in the mid bath and I really like this bathroom um, because it gives you so much room in here. And, and we're able to do that by making the toilet um, up, up an integral part of it and not having it enclosed. So that's how we're able to get this coach compact. This has the uh, Porcelain toilet from Tecma. It's a macerator toilet, so it grinds and emulsifies all the waste as it discharges it down into the septic tank. It also has two controls on it. It has a water saver button. So as I mentioned earlier, this has 150 gallons of water on it. Me and my wife and my uh, two of my sons, we can stay in this motorhome for about four to five days using the water on board, taking showers every night. But we've also learned how to ration the water and you can do that by selecting either number one or number two. You can also set the bowl level, the amount of water you want in the bowl. And then another neat thing is you can push both of the buttons at once when you're traveling and completely drain all the water out of the toilet. Once we get inside, Zach will be able to pan over the floor controls. So this motorhome has heated floors in the front and the rear of the coach, which you know, in the beginning, I wasn't really sold on, but after owning a motorhome, it's very nice to get up in the middle of the night in the winter and have warm floors. But more importantly, our dogs really enjoy being able to lay on a warm floor. So that's something that we really like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the linen closets in here. So there's lots of room for linens. We also have a hanging bar in here. So if you wanna remove these, you can hang some long dresses or uh, what have you in there. Here's the stacked washer and dryer. So we were able to find a way to get that inside a 38 foot motorhome. Okay, there's also a pocket door right here so you can pull it shut. And Renegade, rather than using a latch, they use rare earth magnets to hold the door closed. So it's kind of neat. But as you turn the corner in the motorhome, the door doesn't come ricocheting out. Here's the shower. Um, we've installed a skylight on it, lots of room. I'm gonna go ahead and get inside. As I mentioned before, I'm six foot and you can see there's all kinds of, of headroom over the top. Lots of room in here to take a really nice shower. Some of the things that we've done on the vanity is not only do we have a little storage here on the side, but we've done these drawers. And I really owe that to my wife because she was a big driver behind wanting drawers in the vanity. It's also a nice medicine cabinet here. You can see the quality of the construction throughout this motorhome. It's just quite impressive. So this is the Renegade wardrobe. And as you can see, it's cedar lined. And it's a complete pass through. So you can see my hand back here. So Zach will go ahead and try to put the camera inside and pan around and you can see that there's a full length rod in here so that you can hang your clothes um, behind the TV. But the thing that I wanted to draw your attention to is that the quality of Renegade, they don't stop when it gets behind the TV. The, it's still the same level of quality, everything stained and finished the same, whether it's the inside or the outside. 
Lots of storage down here. There's nice slide out drawers down here on the bottom. Just everything is just remarkable. We have a full length mirror installed and padded walls. So I'm gonna go ahead and get over here and show you how you can uh, just power down the shades. Now this has a mini king in it, which is um, perfect. I'm over six foot. Me and my wife both sleep very comfortably on these. There's a 110 outlet and a USB cord on each side of the bed. So if you have a CPAP, you can plug it in. Or if you want to have your cell phone, you can plug it in. We also have nice nightstands on here. This is a great place to keep your pistol at night. You store it right here. Lots of storage uh, over the top of the bed. And you also have all of your lighting controls up under here. So when you're laying in bed, you can just look up and see all of the lighting controls as well as the shades. We also have a switch back here, or now you can just use your cell phone to start the generator from laying in bed, or you can use the IWS supplied iPad. You'll also note that the padded walls really adds a, a nice level of elegance. And we've done a full uh, solid hardwood wainscoting throughout the motorhome. We got extra outlets placed everywhere. Those of you that have been following us know that we just feel all of those things are very important. Well, that kind of concludes the tour of the coach. Now we're going to move up and talk a little bit about this Peterbilt chassis. I wanted to go ahead and uh, enter the coach from this side so you can see how this uh, easy entry seat is. So the way it works is when you get out, it lowered itself. And now as you get in, it automatically raises to the last... Uh, seating position that you were in. I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up. One, it's hotter than heck outside, but two, I want you to just really hear how loud or quiet these things are. Okay, now we have the, the truck idling and uh, the air conditioner on, so to try to give you a sense of of, of what it sounds like. And I know a lot of you are as excited as we are to see what the inside of this 2021 Peterbilt looks like. So one of the first things that I want to preference, it, preference is, the, is the steering column. And there's lots of adjustability from, you can push it down, you can pull it out, you can raise it, lower it. You have all of this adjustability. I think uh, Peterbilt did a great job of listening to consumers. They've mounted the volume controls here, as well as the stereo controls. You also have the uh, cruise control functions here. But what I thought was neat is the three-stage Jake is now here. So you have low, medium, and high settings on the, on the engine brake right here. So I thought that was a really neat uh, feature that they've done. Over here on the door, you got the lock and unlock, you got the window controls, as well as the left and right mirror controls. All of these functions are right here. So I think they did a, a very nice job from an ergonomic standpoint. There's big grab handles to help you get in and out. And it's pretty dang quiet in here. There's also a nice reading light up here. Um, you can aim this little spotlight wherever you want. So you know, if you're trying to fill out paperwork. You got your nice air horn right here. Uh, as I mentioned, if you want to have trucker cred, this is, this is the motorhome to give it to you. Well, as I mentioned, here's all of the controls on the steering column and it's got a really nice leather wrap steering wheel. Here's your headlight controls, your temp gauge, this, uh, monitors the def, the diesel exhaust fluid that you would add as you uh, with your fuel, or you don't combine it. Obviously, it's a separate item. Here's your fuel gauge, engine RPM, miles per hour. Here's your primary air, your secondary air. Here's your uh, oil pressure. This truck's brand new. It's only been idling, so it's only been getting 1.8 miles per gallon today. Um, 
but they has a really nice dash and we can also switch the dash by just turning the stop there's the odometer here's truck information there's no faults and you can just set a whole bunch of stuff now as we move over here to the right here's the engine fan if you want to use that this is the light for the gauges um, this is for parking this is your or excuse me trailer brakes the air brakes for the trailer there's also an electronic trailer brake down here here we have the Bluetooth stereo which is really nice because uh, not only is it touch screen but if you want to quickly turn the volume up or down you can do it here with a knob so that's something that I really like rather than having to sit and narrow things down here's the back button on it you can also add uh, another view of gauges here so this has more this has the engine torque your average mile per gallon um, manifold pressures and you can change all of these views which I thought was pretty handy you can also access your phone you got camera views here's a rear camera view this is looking out the left side this is looking out the right side another neat function about those is when you're traveling down the road and you turn on a blinker you're going to get the view here we're looking at the left side you can see the turn signal actually flashing and now we're going to look out the right side and these come on automatic with the turn signals so it's kind of a neat function we'll let this go back now if we want to go to home now we're back into the home position here's the fan up and down the temperature control everything's very ergonomic and easy to reach if you want to release the parking brakes you push that in and then you can set that and that's a full air brake uh, spring brake setting the rear axles on this this is an air uh, trailer brakes if you were pulling a trailer you would push this in to release the brakes on the trailer here's your traction control so when this switch is on if one of the tires starts to spin it applies traction control to the other these are just extra switches so a lot of customers will have us install an LED light bar maybe they'll have us put emergency strobe lights on it you know we can uh, zombie spotting lights we can do all of that right there um, this is if you want to disable the uh, uh, emissions cleaning system on it some more spare this will lower the rear air suspension this is a locking differential, so you can lock the two uh, tires together if you're really in a snowbound situation. We can also add automatic tire chains to these, and here's some more spare lights. Here's the uh, transmission selector. This is an Allison automatic, so if you want to uh, go into drive, you just pull it back one notch, and now we're in first gear of six. And then you can just bump it forward, and you're in neutral. And then obviously, obviously you do have reverse right there. So it's all very easy to use. There's also a slide out drink holder for the driver and a drink holder for the passenger. You also have a charging port here and a charging port here and a place to set your cell phone. So I think Peterbilt's done a really nice job of making these things uh, very drivable and have a lot of functionality and ergonomics in them. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I, uh, I feel like we weakened a little bit due to the heat outside, but we've done the absolute best we could to share with you this 2021 Peterbilt 567. Peterbilt is here to stay with us, and uh, we really like what we see. We've been out driving this thing, and uh, we're just so impressed. We're definitely going to be building more of these on our Signature Series platform. Just to kind of recap, this is a 2021 Renegade Classic, and it's our IWS Signature Series. And when I say it's a Signature Series, it's something that I'm personally putting my name on. And it may not mean a lot to you, those of that you that don't know us very well. It sounds like just another salesman talking, but you know we really we really believe in what we're doing, and we believe we have a responsibility to inform you. And we get such joy watching people 
who are especially transitioning into the next phase of life to make sure that we're guiding them the right way. And, and all of the things that we're doing are things that have been working for us and that our customers are telling us is working, but we're also not afraid to accept new technology. And this touchpad's one of them and the lithium batteries. So in my personal coach this year, I usually buy a new coach each year and then we, we sell it, we discount it. And the, the reason I do that is because we need to be testing the new technology. And, and this year we sat down and we really said, okay, what is the technology that I need to be testing with my family for our customers? And that was the, the new uh, touchscreen systems and the lithium batteries. And I can tell you right now, um, we are blown away with the performance of the lithium batteries. We also installed solar panels on the roof of this motorhome. And something that we don't talk about much more is the renegade roof. You know, it, five years ago, we were taking photos with 20 of us on top of the roofs. And, you know, due to liability, it's, uh, I guess we tend to shy away from it. But, you know, there's many people that we sell these motorhomes in the racing world that are putting awnings up on top of the roof. This roof would support 20 uh, grown adults on top of the roof. Now, I got to preference that with the liability saying, you know, I'm not encouraging you to get on the roof, but it gets done all the time out here. And, and it just goes to show how well these things are built. Another thing that I wanted to tell you is just, you know, it's we're a privately owned company. It's me, um, my sons, and my wife. And many of the people that have been here have been with us. You know, Steve's been with us going on uh, a little over 18 years now. And, and it's something that we're really proud of, to, that we're a really small company in a small town and we really try to cater to people. Another thing I wanna mention is our IWS Advantage package. And when you buy this motorhome, we give you an exclusive iPad and we have exclusive videos. There's probably 50 to 60 videos that we don't publish that are exclusive to our customers only. And the only way you can get that is to buy a motorhome from us. Our shop is recognized as one of the best in the nation. Um, we've won uh, numerous, numerous awards for the, for the trucks that we build for the tow truck industry. And we don't do outside work. So if you're watching this and you haven't bought a motorhome from us, unfortunately, we we're not gonna work on your motorhome because we're reserving our shop for our customers because not only are we selling luxury motorhomes, we're selling a luxury lifestyle. We also give you 24 access, hour access to one of us. You'll have our cell phones. So if you have a problem in the middle of the night, you can pick up the phone and call us. You know, all of our years in the towing industry, our name IWS really stood for almost 25 years for Idaho Wrecker Sales. We made our living supplying tow trucks to the tow truck industry. And I don't believe anybody in the United States or in the world has more connections with towers across the United States in the RV industry than us. We know trucks, I operated heavy wreckers, uh, we ran air cushions, we, run, we recovered airplanes all over the United States, and this was our life, and that's what led me into this, is, is reach, or trying to find somebody that could guide us on motorhomes, and that's why we ended up building our own motorhome business, because we believe we can do it better than anybody, and we can eliminate all those excuses. We, we have the answers. I realize I'm going on and on, and some of you that are watching these videos might find it boring, but I'm really trying to cater to those of you that find interest in learning what's next and learning more about these trucks, and, and you know, it's our goal just to really inform you. So, with that being said, if you like what you see, please subscribe to our YouTube channels. We love hearing the comments um, because it, it really helps us make the next better video. For those of you that have been subscribing and watching, thanks a lot. It, it's kind of what keeps us going on these 100 degree days. So uh, look forward to seeing you and I, I hope to see you at the, at the dealership sometime.